755. Alter. When the hills do falter. When the sun question if his glory be the perfect one. Surfeit. When the daffodil doth of the dew, even as herself, sir, I will of you. 756. Bereavement in their death to feel, whom we have never seen. A vital kinsmanship import our soul and theirs between. For a stranger, strangers do not mourn. There be immortal friends whom death see first. Tis news of this that paralyze ourselves. Who Vital only to our thought, such presence bear away, in dying, tis as if our souls absconded suddenly. 757. I think to live may be a bliss to those who dare to try, beyond my limit to conceive, my lip to testify. I think the heart I former wore could widen till to me, the other, like the little bank, appear unto the sea. I think the days could every one in ordination stand, and majesty be easier than an inferior kind. No numb alarm, lest difference come, no goblin on the bloom, no start in apprehension's ear, no bankruptcy no doom. But certainties of sun, midsummer in the mind, a steadfast south upon the soul, her polar time behind. The vision pondered long, so plausible becomes, that I esteem the fiction real, the real fictitious seems. How bountiful the dream, what plenty it would be, had all my life but been mistake, just rectified in thee. 758. A little road, not made of man, enabled of the eye, accessible to thill of bee or cart of butterfly. If town it have beyond itself, tis that I cannot say. I only know no curacle that rumble there bear me. 759. Her sweet turn to leave the homestead came the darker way. Carriages be sure, and guests true, but for holiday. Twas more pitiful endeavor than did loaded sea. Over the curls attempt to caper, it had cast away. Never bride had such assembling, never kinsman kneeled, to salute so fair a forehead, garland be indeed. Fitter feet of her before us, than whatever brow, art of snow, or trick of lily, possibly bestow. Of her father, who so ask her, he shall seek as high, as the palm that serve the desert to obtain the sky. Distance be her only motion, if tis nay or yes, acquiesce or demural, whosoever guess. He must pass the crystal angle that obscure her face. He must have achieved in person equal paradise. 760. Pain has an element of blank. It cannot recollect. When it begun, or if there were, a time when it was not. It has no future, but itself, its infinite contain, its past, enlightened to perceive new periods of pain. 761. So much summer, me for showing, illegitimate, would a smile's minute bestowing, too exorbitant. 
to the lady with the guinea, look if she should know. Crumb of mine, a robin's larder, would suffice to stow. 762. Promise this when you be dying. Some shall summon me. Mine belong your latest sighing, mine to belt your eye. Not with coins, though they be minted, from an emperor's hand. Be my lips the only buckle your low eyes demand. Mine to stay when all have wandered, to devise once more. If the life be too surrendered, life of mine restore. Poured like this, my whole libation, just that you should see. Bliss of death, life's bliss extol through, imitating you. Mine to guard your narrow precinct, to seduce the sun. Longest on your south to linger, largest dews of morn. To demand in your low favor, lest the jealous grass, greener lean or fonder cluster, round some other face. Mine to supplicate Madonna, if Madonna be, could behold so far a creature, Christ omitted me. Just to follow your dear feature, never so far behind, for my heaven had I not been most enough denied. 763. I had no time to hate, because the grave would hinder me, and life was not so ample I could finish enmity. Nor had I time to love, but since some industry must be, the little toil of love I thought be large enough for me. 764. My life had stood, a loaded gun, in corners till a day. The owner passed, identified, and carried me away. And now we roam in sovereign woods, and now we hunt the doe. And every time I speak for him, the mountains straight reply. And do I smile such cordial light upon the valley glow? It is as a Vesuvian face had let its pleasure through. And when at night, our good day done, I guard my master's head, tis better than the eider duck's deep pillow to have shared. To foe of his I'm deadly foe, none stir the second time, on whom I lay a yellow eye or an emphatic thumb. Though I than he may longer live, he longer must than I, for I have but the power to kill without the power to die. 765. The sunrise runs for both, the east, her purple troth, keeps with the hill, the noon unwinds her blue, till one breadth cover two, remotest still. Nor does the night forget a lamp for each to set, wicks wide away, the north, her blazing sign, erects in iodine, till both can see. The midnight's dusky arms clasp hemispheres and homes, and so, upon her bosom one, and one upon her hem both lie. 766. No bobolink reverse his singing, when the only tree ever he minded occupying by the farmer bee. Clove to the root, his spacious future, best horizon gone, brave bobolink, whose music be his only anodyne. 767. One blessing had I than the rest, 
so larger to my eyes, that I stopped gauging, satisfied, for this enchanted size. It was the limit of my dream, the focus of my prayer, a perfect, paralyzing bliss, contented as despair. I knew no more of want or cold, phantasms both become, for this new value in the soul, supremest earthly sum. The heaven below, the heaven above, obscured with ruddier blue, life's latitudes lent over full, the judgment perished too. Why bliss so scantily disperse, why paradise defer, why floods be served to us in bowls, I speculate no more.